now i'm going to think about how how you should study through the data interpretation course fine so click on data interpretation and logical reasoning there are two free classes as you can see this video here gives you a wonderful overview of how to prepare for the dilr component fine so you can go through this so to get an overview of how to prepare for dilr and so it's very useful how you should plan how you should prepare that sheets there and this tab gives you the syllabus here i'm going to go through that in much more detail a little while from now this is a discussion tab this is gives you an overall snapshot of all the discussions that have happened so far each of the discussion items are tagged what do i mean by that suppose i click here and go on to this class the discussion here if you click that this will be the relevant discussion for this lesson the overall discussion board is found on the on the first page the relevant discussion tab is here so each discussion thread is tagged to a lesson it's also available at the overall level so what how should you so you know how the tech works notes are what you keep for yourself and so syllabus discussion notes i'm going to go and spend more time on syllabus fine now if you've noticed there is a certain sequence to this the way we have done this cat used to have a lot of di questions and a lot of lr questions a few years ago and now cat has reached a point where it has become tough to even distinguish what is di what is lr and so the way we have outlined is di there are a bunch of classes and so data interpretation first three four classes are basic terms pie charts word problems tables across different types all of these are simple di and then there is one di only but hard class which is similar to what you could expect to find in the cat then for logical reasoning there are standard templates tournament questions grids questions mathematical puzzles sequence selection and then across different types so these are different templates for pure lr which are simple so you will get the basic idea and get comfortable over what lr templates are about these are the kind of questions most of them are what you would we would have found in cat say from 2013 14 11 12 10 9 okay. so this you need to get going so that you get comfortable with that so that you are very happy uh, with all the standard templates but at the dilr we are finding now that little bit tough like the missing data part or the set theory challenging part just sequences math time work hard part like these and most of them are coming as a combination it become tough even distinguish what is di what is lr fine so if you are starting off from scratch do the first four class five classes of five to six of di lr five to six of uh, uh, lr five to six of data interpretation five to six of logical reasoning now we got to a point where you know all the standard templates and simpler variants of both of these you know what is growth rate what is market share what is a sequence what is a grid what is a table you start speaking the language then you go into the tougher bits for the tougher bits my preferred starting point is the actual cat questions and these 17 there are two actual cat papers that were released and for 18 there were two actual cat paper that were released do a few of these so that you get the hang of what the actual level of difficulty is don't do all of them because taking the actual cat as a mock pays off so do a few of these so that you get the hang of this then look to take these at mocks not just as practice classes right do maybe two of these then hold the rest you can always take them as mocks then go back to each of these these have different templates a bunch of classes talking about dilr which are complicated questions find where where there's a combination of dil and lr you really can't classify uh, there is a, there is a set theory on which percentages and ratios are superimposed a bunch of tougher ideas go through them remember for any question that you click the relevant discussion tab will be available any question you can add an, some notes to yourself and navigate across the script pure di four five classes pure lr four five classes two classes of actual questions to to know the level of difficulty then the rest of the difficult dilr then come and do a recap and round things off that will be the pattern for doing dilr each lr class or each dilr class is roughly four or five sets some actual cat paper there are four and some other there'll be five depending on the level of difficulty and how many questions and all that usually four or five that the that the pattern for each class each class should take between 2 and 3 hours sometime for you to solve then sometime for you to see the solution and then consolidate whatever idea that you have learned